In my book, I write a lot about the feelings that I had as a child. Um, feelings that I now understand are echoed by virtually everyone that I've encountered and everything that I've read that involves people who have made these discoveries and think back at their childhoods. And what we all seem to share is a feeling of something not quite having felt like it added up. Some sense of otherness, of um, difference from our, you know, if you think about how we experience our biological families, there's all sorts of familiarity and similarity that we just don't even notice, we just take for granted, or there are these comments like, oh, he walks just like Uncle Elmer, or whatever. Um, in the case of adoptees who have always known, because that's much, it's been true for much longer that it, the, it's psychologically understood that adoptees should be told from a very young age that they're adopted, they always know that they, that they haven't had that sense of the familiar, so they understand whatever that feeling is. I mean, I'm not saying that that's comfortable, but it's, it's woven into their identity. To have something as fundamental, and I, I'm, not put, I'm not placing more import or weight on nature than nurture. I'm really not. My book's dedicated to my father, meaning the dad who raised me, um, and I do believe that the way that he nurtured me loved me into being. But there was something that didn't, that I, I, I believe it was what I was always digging for as a writer. There was something that did not make sense to me about me, and I didn't know what it was. I couldn't have imagined what it was, and that is not unique to me. So in answer to your question, I feel ultimately that it's kind of a fundamental right if that knowledge is available to know. I do think, though, that when it comes to these kinds of secrets, it matters when someone is told. And when I was a child, and this was a realization I came to as I was writing Inheritance, when I was a child, if my parents had told me, that would have been catastrophic because no one told their kids. It was just a, a, a kept secret among all families where their children had been born in this way. So I would have felt like the only person on the planet who had this kind of story. And there also would have been no way that I could ever have found out anything more. So, but today, um, there are groups of people who, there are, there are support communities uh, of all different kinds. There are books that are written for ch parents to help to figure out how to tell their children about, you know, sort of different ways of coming into the world. And, um, and aside from the fact that anonymity isn't possible, I ultimately feel that um, it's not the parents or the doctor's right to withhold something that is as important as genetic identity. I mean, if you go back to what I was saying during my talk, I gave incorrect medical history all my life. I gave it for my child. Um, that, just on the face of it, seems like an unacceptable thing to me, to go through life that way.